We are sitting down with forestry experts to ask them your tough questions. This is Ask a Forester. Hi, Reese. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to Ask a Forester. Tell us about yourself. Uh, my name is Reese. I work for Starker Forest. Mm -hmm. I've been with the company almost two years now, mm -hmm. but I've been working in the forest industry for almost 10 years now. Okay. So um, sometimes when we talk about actively managed forests or working forests, people tend to think, well, why can't forests just manage themselves? Yeah, it's a great question. And forests can manage themselves. It just takes uh, a long time, sometimes mm -hmm. hundreds of years to be able to self-regulate. Mm -hmm. And um, before modern civilization, the forest would um, manage itself. But now, since we have about 4 million people in Oregon, uh, it's a lot harder to let the forest manage itself. How, how was it managing itself before? Um, generally through um, regular fire return intervals. So mm -hmm. fire on the landscape quite frequently was able to keep the forest in check. But now with over 100 years of fire suppression, mm -hmm. it's uh, really hard to let fire do its thing without having... Um, substantial impacts to people and property. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been many invasive species that have been mm -hmm. uh, located around Oregon and a lot of them don't do well with fire. They thrive in fire situations so it's really important to use active management to control those invasive species to make um, livable habitat for native species. Okay all right thank you. Yeah of course. We'd love to hear from you. If you've got a question you'd like us to answer send an email to info at OregonForestsForever.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time.